I just was uh, was told to say something. First of all, since one of you visited the website halfway and you made a negative remark, I've been using my social media on my Facebook since yesterday to promote what you've been doing. More than 1,600, 1,700 people have already seen a query in action. I have a message for you today to conclude. If you want to become a change maker, life maker, or the people who can create renaissance and build civilization, I have 12 points to discuss with you. First, believe. Believe, believe. Belief should be above everything. And nothing should rise above belief. Believe in your principles, in your community, in your religion, in your aims and objectives. Start with. Second was knowledge. Societal knowledge. You have to know about everything in the society, every component, every culture, every minority groups. If we are trying to become the change maker. Building partnership, communication, networking, connection, complementarity. You can't do it alone. No matter who you are, how strong or how many are you, and how rich or how widespread are you. Simplicity in your action, clarity in the objectives. And don't put too many objectives on the table. Otherwise, if you fail to do them, to achieve them, we we'll go back to what Ahmad Saada was saying, people become depressed and become radical at the end of the day. Do not ever, 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 and never politicize your organization. No matter how much the fund is coming from certain political group, don't become a tool in the hands of politicians. Grow slowly, progressively, effectively. Do not publicize your religion, your objectives for a handful of dollars. Patience is the key for the success, the key for achievement. You can't change the community overnight or with a mere luck. Okay? It takes a long time, a long time to change the community. You have all the time to trust your colleague and to have a good intention and good feeling about even your competitor and your opponent. Husnad Dhan is something that has to be entrenched inside ourselves. Humility, being humble. You cannot serve a community. You cannot change, become a change maker if you are not humble. Never happen to an arrogant man or a woman who became a dictator. They failed to change the community. They failed to become a change maker. Humanity, especially when you become a servant for the society, you are owned by the society. You become a public figure. Public figure has to become a transparent. Individual cannot hide anything, even if it's private life or her private life. Because the society and the community will be above you. Even if you lead it, you never think that you become above the society or the community. Never ever think like this. We have to start from others after where others end, not to reinvent the wheel. Education, education, education. What's happening in the world now is the level of ignorance is on the boom, rising. That's why a lot of politicians and others are fooling us, taking us like a pendulum, right, left, and center. Fight ignorance, raise awareness, build intellectuality, or intellect, intellect, 
and depend on research. Read your history, read how people made civilization, your own civilization and other civilization. Don't ever worship bureaucracy. Use bureaucracy as a facilitating tool. Don't ever worship bureaucracy and say, yeah, policy procedure, yes, fine, but let us speed up the process of achievement by putting the uh, 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 this policy and procedure. Don't follow the flow. You create the flow and let the flow to follow you. You know what I'm talking about? You create the flow and let the flow to follow you. Know that sky is not your limit. Sky is not your limit. Sky is not your limit. Sky is your beginning. Whoever said that does not understand the capability of the human being that God has created. Because God did not only help create the sky, create the galaxies, planets and others. And you should discover all these galaxies and planets utilize its resources for humanity to worship God. I nearly finished. I got one or two to go. <laughs> also, believe that you are not the first and you will not be the last. People before us started hundreds of years ago. And people after us will carry on to excel better than we are. So be a part of this global humanitarian movement to save humanity and to save the planet. Know that your message is a continuity of the heavenly message of prophets and messengers. Okay? And your principles, as deep as the depth of earth and the depth of history, and as high as higher than the sky, treat your enemies with good will and a good man. If they be like a tree, if they stone you with a stone, you provide them with fruit. Don't treat the en your enemy with their money, but always treat your enemies with your money. Because you can't be like them. You can't go down the drain like them, but you show them the way, even if they bleed you. And this is what the message of Jesus was, peace be upon him, the message of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, peace be upon him, and all the reformers and all other prophets, we came to humanity to throw their fruits or to provide their fruits to humanity. Be the fruit providers, even if your enemies throw you with stones. I love you. I love you. I love you. I can't hear that you love me. Yeah, I love you too. Shukran, Dr. Hajj. Finish? Always a spray.